Good morning, I'm Brooke Hafes with NBC26 and this is your morning news update. Lambeau is ready to welcome fans for tonight's matchup against the Steelers. The team is reminding fans of their safety policy. No bags or purses are allowed inside Lambeau Field unless they are clear, plastic vinyl and can't be larger than 12 by 6 by 12. Stadium cushions and selfie sticks are also not allowed. The parking lots open at 3 p.m. while stadium gates open at 5. The DOT is reminding drivers to give yourself extra travel time to get to the game. Ongoing construction projects could cause delays. Festival Foods is holding a statewide hiring event today. The grocer plans to hire more than 300 people. All candidates will meet one-on-one -on -one with hiring managers. The hiring event is from noon until 5.30 this afternoon. You can complete an application online, but walk-ins are also welcome. Now, there are days of fun left at the Brown County Fair. Many of the events circle around the 200th anniversary of Brown County. The big feature item, a 10-horse hitch featuring Belgian horses to remind visitors of our horse-powered past. Today, it's music and truck pulls, rodeo action on Friday and Saturday, and on Sunday, it's Military Appreciation Day with all veterans getting in for free. And I'm Gino Recchio with your weather forecast. We are expecting a quiet start to the morning, but increasing cloud cover later on today. We will have some showers and thunderstorms moving into the area. A low pressure system will be lifting up to the northeast over the southern peninsula of Michigan. Coupled with daytime heating, a couple of showers and thunderstorms are expected to develop. There's a secondary cold front, a low pressure system that will pass down to the south of us into northern Illinois on Friday. Now this one I think will be impacting us as much is what we will see today. So for the closer look in Skycast, showers and thunderstorms developing after noon. It keeps that in track until the afternoon hours, but once the sun sets, the coverage will decrease. However, then we'll have to deal with some patchy fog once again. Temperatures back up into the old overnight lows in the 60s. Looks like temperatures for the Packers game near 80 degrees for tailgating, 75 for kickoff and cooling off down to 70 by the end of the game. For the latest news, weather and sports, make sure to download the NBC 26 app from all of us here at NBC 26. Have a good day.